it is a new week shout out to the recycling that i need to take out it's actually wednesday um i'm going to meet bianca for dinner we're going to bar crispin in uh, spitalfields is it in spitalfields or shoreditch same different really i think it's like modern european small platey type thing uh, i'm not wearing any makeup today well i have on a little bit of concealer because i was tired um but i didn't really want to wear makeup because i feel like i wear makeup so much that when i meet when i'm just going to meet a friend if I feel like I don't have to wear makeup. Do you get it's like the reverse? Anyway, let's go to get some food. I'm really, really good, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> these boots on they look like loafers when you have trousers covering them from Mista you do have to break them in though if you decide to purchase these <laughs> but I finally broke them in this is a tank top this is from Margella it's like torn on purpose though <laughs> and I have on this long sleeve silk top I got this a while ago and other stories and it's a long sleeve shirt but I just wear it as a bolero. I wear it more as a bolero than an actual long sleeve because I just don't feel like you should ever be wearing a long sleeve black t-shirt in life. But yeah, the dinner was nice. It was like European. I had a lot of leafy things. It was like a cabbage. I showed you Bianca's food when that came. I don't think I showed mine, but mine wasn't as exciting as hers. Um, she had a better order than me, but I'm gluten-free, so I couldn't get the pasta. So I got the cabbage, grilled cabbage. It was like it was like a grilled hispy cabbage, which I've had before at other places. I think it was better at other places, though, if I'm being honest. There's a restaurant in near the Brown store in Bond Street. That restaurant is really good for hispy cabbage if you're really into cabbage and they do good for catcher as well if you're really into bread i didn't really do like too much today um and then tomorrow morning i'm meeting um iman for breakfast in tottenham court road so i'm gonna have to wake up nice and early i'm considering if i want to do makeup or not but it's so early in the morning that like i don't want to wear makeup so I might just do what I did today, which was just put some concealer under my eyes. I feel like when you have your hair in a bun as well, it like gives you like a like a little facelift, so you look snatched. Um, that's my theory. But yeah, I am going to get ready for Betty Buys now because yeah, early start in the AM, and I will see you in the morning. Goodbye. Morning. I am going to leave the house in five minutes, but I thought. I'll show you guys my outfit really quick. My flat's a mess. Don't judge me. Here she is. I'm going to work on my thick check angles right now because, yeah, my flat is not really organized for that. Now I'm thinking the bag doesn't go. Um, I'm going to get another bag. Hold on. There's also like a rock in my boot or something. This one is like very cohesive. The blue is like complimentary and the pink, I'm going to say no to the pink. Um, what's the blue giving? Or we could do the fence. Mm, mm, the Fendi makes it more like a 90s, like a... I'm gonna go with the Fendi bag. So yeah, I'm about to go to breakfast now. I wasn't gonna wear makeup, but then last minute I was like, you know what, let me just wear some makeup. And now here I am with the makeup on. Okay, I've just sprayed my face with setting spray, so I'm gonna let that dry down. But I'm actually just gonna head out now, um, and I'll be comfortably on time. I won't have to rush. So I'll check back in with you when I get to Nessa. So I'm back home. It's like 12.30 almost, so that kind of took, that was like the morning. Um, but I'll show you guys some of the things I got. I went to Superdrug afterwards, 
to get <laughs> my eczema cream epiderm ointment uh, you do not have dry skin if you don't have to bring out the ointments because I've been using creams for a while and what happened is that my boyfriend started using my epiderm even though he does not have dry skin so why would you use it if you don't need it use the normal cream reparations now so yeah I got this because my skin is so dry she's like a little crusty demanding baby so and it's very thick it's like um what's the texture like i don't know um, like thick. thick like thick vaseline <laughs> okay you see it's not even really shiny it's just thick no fragrance not sexy but it does the job you know anyway i got lashes um i always get the kiss wispies i will link these because you guys always 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 ask me so i got the so wispies in the style in the style in the set i would say shade but also style in 04 and i always use these i don't know if it's gonna focus anyway i always use these i also got number two but i sort of stick to number four you know i think they look better on my eye shape and then i also got the three quarter eyelore ones just for like when i'm doing more creative looks i can um like cut them smaller and add them to the end and stuff like that just yeah and also if you're not a lash babe and you but you want to have a little bit of length you can add these just to the ends of your lashes and then you get that like cat eye look and then i got lash colors um because everyone always bangs on about them i feel like it's going to be a thing that i don't like but I thought I'll buy it and give it a try anyway. And then the MAC stuff. I won't do everything because we'll be here all day. I'll just do like a quick rundown. I got the MAC paint stick in pure white. Um, I was going to get like a very light concealer. But one of the girls at the pro store advised me to try the paint stick. Because I can use it to dilute other colours. And um, it's just like a block of pure white paint. So this will be really useful for when... I'm doing more fun and creative things when I want to dilute colors for my lip combo. Basically, really good artist thing. Also, guys, I I don't do makeup, but I feel like I want to put pro and makeup artist in my bio. Can I do that? Because I'm I feel like I can do makeup and I know about makeup. Because essentially, I literally got uh, someone messaged me today to do some hair for a magazine, right? And in my head, I read the email and I thought I don't do hair anymore. If you didn't know. I read the email and I thought, I get these emails like every now and then and people still think of me as a hair artist, which is fine because I think I, 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 don't, I think I am one in my own right, but I sort of like beauty and I feel like the reason why I, I wouldn't say I fell out of love, but the reason why I don't see hair the same way anymore is because I monetized it so much it was my livelihood so it took the fun out of it even though it seemed like everything i was doing was so fun um and it was you know it was i did i traveled literally i got flewed out to do people's hair like that's crazy um it was fun but it was so intense and the pressure was crazy and it's so hard on your body so now sometimes when people email me to do editorial work it feels like bittersweet almost because it's like it's nice to be thought of in that way but i don't want to be thought of as a pro makeup artist any pro hair artist anymore because i feel like i do makeup um and also the love that i have for doing hair is more in its purest form as a form of expression as opposed to doing it to make a name for myself as a hair artist or doing work to establish myself in that way i don't feel like i have to do that if that makes sense anyway so i'm thinking of changing my bios to pro makeup artists <laughs> let me know what you think but I think it's good that I explain why. Um, because I actually was thinking it. Sometimes my the way my brain works is like I'll think a thing and it's there. But sometimes I don't like acknowledge it because I'm not ready to 
acknowledge that so i just carry on and the thing is in my brain and also i make decisions very quickly like if as soon as you finish a sentence i've decided what to do um which is i kind of have to work on that because sometimes i'm like okay no or yes and it's very hard to get me to go to the other side if i've said one thing but i just feel like i've earned this makeup title so yeah anyway i got this thing which i'm most excited for which is this acrylic paint iman picked this up for me in marine ultra look at this shade of blue this is absolutely the best thing i've ever seen in my life marine ultra acrylic paint this is from the pro store and also they've reformulated the retro matte formulas and the matte formulas so this is now called maximal um, matte lipstick and she's giving me the black shade i got some of the squirt plumping glosses i got quite a few shades i got these in the plumping glosses and then I picked up some pencils. That's, that's sort of like what I really like working with because I feel like chromographic pencils are really easy to use everywhere else on your um, face. So I picked up um, Smolder Eye Coal. I picked up another Night Moth Lip Pencil, which is funny because I lost one and my boyfriend bought me one and then now I got this one. So I sort of bought one for no reason, but it's always good to have a backup. And then the chromograph pencils I picked up, I picked up Genuine Orange, which is like a very bright orange shade. Um, basic Red, which I thought would be good because I use Ruby Woo a lot on my, on my eyes and stuff. And I thought it would be good if I had like a nice brick red. Well, a nice basic red. And then I picked up Cherry Lip Pencil. Um, again, just to have like a different shade of red to work with, that would be cool, because I drew the red and orange on my hand, I thought, oh my god, that would be such a good lip, with that some gold, so yeah, that's basically it, the rest is more like chill, she gave me a chestnut, which I always have like three on deck, um, and cork, which is a very light brown, I'm more of a dark liner gal, so I may give, I may put some of these in like a little giveaway package for um, some of you, because why not? We all deserve to have nice lip combos. So yeah, that's basically the long and short of everything I picked up. Let me know your thoughts on Nakai. Is this like a pro makeup artist? I mean, you are what you say you are. So I think I'm just going to start saying that I am. Anyway, I am going to edit some videos. Um... Thanks for listening to my TED talk. I spoke for 11 minutes. That's shocking. See you soon. <laughs> Guys, look at the sunset this evening. It's absolutely beautiful. It looks fake right now. Wow. I finished filming. Oh, my battery's about to die. Well, can't say I didn't try, eh? See you guys tomorrow. <laughs> hey, y'all. I'm back on the camera. Now heading to Selfridges. I'm running a little bit late, but um, I had to, my outfit was, you know those days when you put everything on? I literally put every single thing on in my wardrobe to end up wearing black. <laughs> um, I think that's what happens though, when you don't know what to wear, you just wear black. Um, so yeah, that's what happened. I've got on this mesh top, which always saves the day, but I'm late. So let's go to Selfridges. Table, but they also have like these cake pots. 
chocolate cake with chocolate. That's cute. And then also chocolate cake like lip caps. That's quite cute as well. And then there's also like sour apples, fizzy sour apples. I love sour sweets. So let me do a live action review of these. Mmm. You know when they're thick. <laughs> oh no, that's you, girl. That's you. Thanks. Wow. Can we just take in the shape, the colors? Shout out to Danielle. Follow her on everything. But yeah, Danielle's with her sister, and I'm alone. So I think I'll be going home. That's, yeah, we'll see. Good morning. I'm at Bianca's studio. Well, I'm not there yet. We're on the way. And I'm here for a fitting. It's her anniversary next week, I believe. So she's having an anniversary dinner. And then she was like, oh, do you want to come down and get like a little outfit? That would be really cute. So, hi. hi. I'm good. Sorry, I'm just vlogging. Um, but yeah, so I'm here now, which is good. So here's some of the racks. So you can choose something to wear for the anniversary and then there's also this row as well but it goes from newest to oldest so I think I'm going to just go through and pick some stuff out and then we go from there She's got like the pattern. This pattern, I have this in the top, which I think would be quite cool. Anyway. Hey guys, so I'm back home now um, and I'm planning to take my makeup off. Um, I was retouching it a lot outside, so I feel like I just, I think maybe my primer and my foundation didn't work out well together, so back to the drawing board on that one had my outings of the morning um so i didn't vlog the breakfast but i met jade from huda beauty for breakfast so that was nice um i feel like breakfast places in general they need to work on their like gluten-free um non-red meat options because breakfast i feel like everyone just has like sausage sausages bacon like full english but what if you want something else and like all the granola stuff has gluten so you know what I mean I feel like maybe breakfast just isn't the thing if you're like gluten-free dairy-free etc or maybe breakfast isn't the meal if you're gluten-free and dairy-free because I feel like I struggle the most with breakfast I just eat porridge all the time so and that's I've, I'm now sort of realizing like I, I usually make pancakes on the weekends and I haven't made pancakes for like over a month and it, it has gluten and dairy I normally make it dairy-free but I'm going on a tangent. Anyway, today I'm gonna do some work, basically. So if I don't come back on here, just know I'm busy typing away 
of his siren but in real life morning it's afternoon i tend to do that a lot we're at pottery today i am with tyra and lex um we're gonna paint some stuff i'm getting like a hybrid object this is supposed to be multi-purpose um and i'll show you what the girls have chosen hey tyra okay we got the same basically yeah yellow yeah nuts <laughs> just a cute little girl snack <laughs> and next is one okay you just look we kind of chose the same thing yeah in different fonts in different fonts um i'm just gonna put that like, fruit in it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. kilo fruit cereal I'm gonna make it granola well. oh that's cute gonna are you gonna make like a strawberry or yeah, something like that's cute i actually have no idea what to make mine i was thinking to do like an abstract art thing but now on reflection I need to think about the colors in the house and how to match it. So I'm gonna have a think. Because here's everyone's bowls. Rotating. Flip it and reverse it. So cute. I feel like everyone's matches their personality. Yeah, literally. <laughs> now look at the lady's mug. <laughs> and her kid as well. So talented. Oh my god. She gets it from my mum, clearly. Now we're getting fur. Look how good everybody's food looks. Oh, so excited. Here is all our food. Tara's got to come soon. Yeah, it does. What did you get? Uh, beef brisket. Beef brisket. Um, I got the seafood um, spring roll. It's like deep fried. And then I got the prawns with the chicken broth. Um, technically, I should have got the veg broth, but I really don't like veg broth. <laughs> um, and then they just have all the toppings and stuff, all the garnishes on the side. So, yeah. Oh wait, I call her Mitchie. Edit that out. <laughs> definitely deserves a four point eight stars. That's um, good. What one did you get? I got the king prawn Yeah. And the chicken one. Oh, we got the so, same. The same? Yeah, we got the same. Don't judge my top six skills today. My wrist is messed. I'm not a big bean sprout person, so I think I'm gonna go without the bean sprout. It's so, mm, the chilies are potent. So, if you use the chili, just dip her in and dip her back out again. Last night, um, my boyfriend made a chicken broth for me. Cause this week I'm doing um, hot foods. In general, most of my diet is meant to be hot food mm. or um, Oh, yeah. Leafy greens, um, dark vegetables, sweet potatoes, that type of thing. So I had, I've literally had broth every single day this week, more or less. Um, I also, I had like fish tacos on one day as well. But I'm kind of almost bored of broth. <laughs> but I'm going to just keep going. I think next week I might make a more ramen type broth, like something like creamier. Um, but yeah, that's just my plan. And I do feel much better for it as well. So it's not even like, oh, I don't feel better, because I do. Hi, happy Saturday. I'm going to get some piercings. We're gonna go to Shoreditch, um, walk around a bit, you know, do Saturday things. It's kind of late, because I dyed my hair. Not that you can tell, like it's literally just brown. But I'm trying to very slowly make my way to blonde without my hair falling off. So for now, it's just, let me see if y'all can see. It's just given forehead. For now, it's brown. Anyway, see you at the piercing shop. Honey works. Excited. I'm buzzing for you. I'm back from the piercing shop. We went to 
I'm gonna tell you the name, I can't remember. Um, what's it called, babe? Ink right. Man? It was in um, Spitalfields, like right next to Spitalfields Market, and he was so nice, really professional, and like obviously he just really cared about his business, really loved that. So I got, I ended up getting two on this side and one on that side. Um, initially, he put two on this side because he was like, I have this up here so it would flow better, but this is, I like this side of my profile more, so I did two here. I was, I actually wanted to do another one here as well, but I thought, let me just take it easy, and I, because I got three in one sitting, so I'm just going to wait, I'm going to let these um, marinate, <laughs> and then after like a month, I'll like go back and see if I want to get something else because they had a really cool one which was like um in here which I was interested in but it says that you have to be careful with earphones and I I just like wearing my airpods so that is literally all we got up to we literally got some light food in Spitalfields Market and then came home got myself a boba so I'm about to relax now uh, maybe we're gonna put a movie on or I don't know what the plan is for the evening. I mean, I do know, but I can't say. <laughs> that was such a dad joke. Anyway, <laughs> he's laughing at me and I'm laughing at me too. This week was very tumultuous. I, I don't know if you can tell through the vlog though, because I feel like I was out a lot so you would have seen me talking to people way more whereas normally I'm talking to you all the time and I feel like when you have a lot of events you go through the I won't say rigmarole but you go through like the whole thing of like having to get ready getting glam like going to meeting everyone meeting new people going on your own so there's always like a little bit of anxiety um like doing that because you're always walking into a space and you don't know what will be waiting for you and i think that that's something that a lot of creators don't really talk about like every time you go to an event you have to mentally prepare yourself to expect anything it could be anything and no two events are the same so um i think it was it's also me like um acknowledging that this week was like a it took different skills from me to get through the week um, so that's been challenging. I won't say I've enjoyed the challenge because challenges are not fun, but um, I think it's good. It was good for me to get back out into the swing of things and just get used to going to events again and meeting everyone and just, you know, feeling the vibes, having good vibes. So that was good. Also, ironically, I was thinking, because it's so funny, because last week in my other vlog, my previous vlog, you guys were like, oh my God, you cook so much. Like, love seeing you cook. Um, and this week, I don't think that I filmed me cooking once. I think I only really cooked a few times as well, but it was very basic. Like, I made a uh, pasta, like a green pasta with cabbage and broccoli. Literally, like, I made the most basic food ever because every time I have a lot of events, I just, I can just just about piece together some food to eat. So yeah that was it for this week um what has your week been like i think every at the end of every vlog i do have this little sit down and chat with you which i like i think we will continue let me know if you enjoy it and i will keep it going but yeah that was my week i hope you enjoyed this vlog and make sure to like comment and subscribe let's keep the good vibes going see you in the next one love you long time